The nasty cold temperatures we received over the weekend caused major issues with our electricity grid to the point where the Alberta electricity system operator issued emergency alerts on Saturday. Albertans were asked to turn off unnecessary lights, not use their stoves, instead use a microwave, unplug their electric vehicles and not to plug in their block heaters. We ended up avoiding rolling brownouts thanks to Saskatchewan helping us out. Alberta's Utilities Minister Nathan Newdorf joins us now from Edmonton to talk about what transpired on Saturday. Nathan, how did we reach this point here in the province? Not only did we have uh, no wind and no solar as, as, as part of the w winter realities, but we had an amazing uh, large storm front that impacted BC, Saskatchewan, Montana, whom we normally rely on for surplus generation, and they were not able to supply what they would have liked to. Uh, Saskatchewan did come through in a big way and, and maximize what they could send us. We also had two thermal generators go offline due to the cold and uh, mechanical issues caused by the cold. So we were we were put in a position where we were very close to uh, that threshold where we might have had to have rolling brownouts. And we asked Albertans if they could help us out by reducing their consumption. And they came through in a really big way. Uh, within a minute, they re removed about 100 megawatts of load from our system. And minutes after that, another, an additional 100 megawatts came off, which really uh, saved the day. And we're very, very grateful to Albertans for all that they did. Now, Nathan, Albertans were asked to turn off the lights and unplug. Yet we saw many images on social media of skyscrapers in both Calgary and Edmonton all lit up on a Saturday night. That's uh, uh, something that we continue to work on. We did put out our request broadly to everyone, and uh, we are working with businesses and commercial entities. Obviously, there could be multiple ownership. There could be emergency lighting, different things like that that are, are wired into those buildings. It's identified as uh, an area needing improvement, and we've reached out to as many as we can to ask for their uh, additional cooperation should we ever face that same situation again. So can you really explain how it came to be that Saskatchewan came to our rescue? Well, Saskatchewan has uh, a little bit uh, additional resources at their disposal in terms of coal-fired and, and natural gas-fired generation. Mm -hmm. And they were able to maximize what they could send us for that, that time frame, and we're very, very grateful to them. Unfortunately, our system right now only has a very small inner tie with Saskatchewan, and 153 megawatts is the full and maximum uh, value that we can put through that line. This is something that we're identifying through our internal inquiries, and uh, we look forward to rectifying that in the future. You know, many people would argue this is a prime example of why we should not put all of our eggs in the renewable energy basket, relying solely on wind power and solar power, and the natural gas and coal-generated electricity is still needed. Now, that's a point that Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe recently brought up. Absolutely. Uh, renewables have an uh, incredible piece to play. They are zero emitting and uh, are low cost, so they have great attributes. Unfortunately, there are times in, in the year where there are other negative attributes that they are not dispatchable. Uh, we can't make the wind blow and in winter when the sun sets early before peak times, uh, we can't rely on them at those times. So we need to maximize their good benefits and we need to find a mitigation strategy to compensate when when they aren't able to uh, produce for the grid. Yeah, so how can we really avoid a potential electricity grid emergency like we experienced over the weekend and the future? What is the plan moving forward? Well, that's what our inquiries, we saw this potential way back in August, which is why we began multiple inquiries into our system to say, how do we manage the, the growing electrification of our grid? How do we balance the, the generation attributes of, of multiple possibilities? And, and how do we uh, make our system more more efficient, optimize what we have, right from generation through transmission and distribution so that we have the reliability, sustainability, uh, and affordability that Albertans have come to expect from their grid. And we look forward to those inquiries being wrapped up in the next month, month and a half and setting out that vision for all Albertans so that we can hopefully not face these kind of situations again next winter. Alberta Affordability and Utilities Minister Nathan Newdorf, thanks so much for your time today. By the way, Alberta's opposition NDP says that Minister Newdorf needs to take action on increasing grid reliability following the four grid alerts over the weekend.